Today we are going to test how many users it's possible to connect together by using only WebRTC peer-to-peer -peer connections. Usually, if Bob and Alice want to chat together with Zoom or Google Hangouts, they're going to use a server, kind of a middleman. But in some cases, you want to avoid that server to establish more secure connection and to remove additional infrastructure costs. But this WebRTC technology creates one important limitation. You can't place many users in one room. Since we don't use any server, all the audio-video processing is done right here on your device. For this test, we are going to use our peer-to-peer -peer application. Right now we have three users in the room, and this MacBook Pro is quite loud, because we have a high CPU load, it's around 50%. Okay, so let's try to toll this MacBook Pro and add as many participants as we can. So here we managed to add seven participants with HD video quality in one room. It works, but user experience is not great. Probably it's a maximum for my CPU on the MacBook Pro. And here is another test. So I switched the video quality to minimum, and we also tried to add many users in one room. And nine participants works. It works okay, actually. Not for everybody, but for my laptop, it's fine. But probably it's the maximum. To summarize, today we have tested WebRTC peer-to-peer -peer mesh system and we tried to place as many participants as we can in one room. And on my computer, which is average laptop, which has four core CPU, six participants in HD quality worked. It worked okay, but it's not the greatest user experience. We lowered the video quality and tried nine participants. It worked okay, but that's the maximum. But at the same time, I tried to test it on desktop computer, which has more powerful CPU, more cores, and it worked fine both for six and nine participants in HD quality. So I guess if you lower the video quality less than HD, you can place 10 or even more users in one room. That's it for today. I hope this video was useful. Bye-bye.